Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you insert a new chart into a worksheet, it will appear as an embedded chart object within the worksheet. When a chart is embedded within a worksheet, you can move it around within the worksheet and also change the size. Before you do this, however, you will need to ensure that you have the chart area selected. To select the chart area, you can either click into the blank area of the chart object to select the entire chart, or you can choose the chart area choice from the chart elements drop down in the current selection group on the layout tab of the chart tools contextual tab within the ribbon. To move the chart, just click and drag inside the chart area within the chart. The mouse pointer will appear as a four pointed arrow while the chart is being moved. You'll also see an outline of where the chart will be placed when you release your mouse pointer. When the outline appears in the desired location, release the mouse button to drop the chart into its new location within the worksheet. To resize the chart, place your mouse pointer over one of the dotted resizing areas that appear at the four corners and the four sides of the chart inside of the light blue border. When you're in the correct position, the mouse pointer becomes a double pointed arrow. At that point, click and drag to resize the chart area to your desired width and height. Also, you may want the selected chart to appear as the only object in its own worksheet. You may also want to move the chart to a different worksheet, but still have it remain as an embedded object within a different worksheet. You can accomplish either task by selecting the chart area and then clicking the Move Chart button that appears in the Location group on the Design tab within the Chart Tools Contextual tab. When you click that button, that will open the Move Chart dialog box. Here you can decide where to place your chart. First select either the option button for New Sheet or Object In as desired. If you choose the new sheet option, then type the name for the new worksheet into the text box to the right of the option button. This option places the chart as the only object in its own worksheet. This maximizes the amount of space available for plotting charted data. If you select the object in option, then use the drop down to the right of that option button to select the name of the worksheet into which you want to embed the selected chart object. Once you've made your choice within this dialog box, click the OK button to move the chart. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.